everyone, welcome to Toy Break episode 178. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Scott. I'm Dragon Ball Z. And we've been on this couch for a week. We need no, we need no, food and water. This is, Please. This is Ben's bedhead. That's yeah. how it normally he looks after a week of growth. <laughs> after a week, just not doing anything. That's what happens. It looks like his head's on fire. No way. Head and fuego. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into this. What are we doing okay. here? All right, so Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring everything in the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to designer vinyl, action figures, collectibles, plush, events, how-tos, uh, artists, interview, whatever we can bring you. And when I mentioned events, that's what we're focusing on today. You might have seen last week's episode where we went through what Scott, me, and George got at San Diego Comic-Con this year, but we didn't see what Ben got. So if we could uh, focus on that today, uh, let's start by thanking our sponsors. Was me the right word there, or is it I? It probably should have been I. Okay, <laughs> just but checking. I haven't moved off the couch in a week, so I think I can be forgiven. Some sponsors like... I think like, me can be forgiven. Like this shirt right here came from Fuzzy Balls Apparel. This shirt right here came from Mini Cassettes. This shirt came from Time Bandits. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it did, actually. But Time Bandits is a sponsor. Did this shirt come from BitBots? Nope. Uh oh. That's a Bit Jim of Food shirt. It is. So BitBots is a sponsor. How about Monster Workshop? <laughs> Happy Panda Toys. Three Doctor Retro. Pace Haber. <laughs> Grumpy Bird. <laughs> Art Attack Toys. Dragatomy. Button Lab. Tenacious Toys. <laughs> and Urban Rascal. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Go to toybreak.com. They're on the left hand side of the page. Check them out. Also, we have a contest going on right now. It is the Tofu... Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, we'll wait for you to be done, George. Everybody just go get a glass of water right now. <laughs> and rip mm. the paper. Right, they're not a sponsor. They don't get their label on the show. Oh, sorry. Oh. Scott? Oh, Scott. this is um, BitBot's water. <laughs> So we have a contest going on right now. It is the Tofu the Vegan Zombie Contest. So you can win a Tofu the Vegan Zombie figure from Applehead Factory simply by drawing uh, anything that Tofu would eat. And remember, he's what? Tofu. Mm. Tofu's oh, yeah. his name. Tofu the guy. And he's a vegan zombie, so mm -hmm. what What would he eat? We don't know. We need you to tell us. Mm. So come the over... stupidest contest <laughs> Just draw something dumb and it'll be funny. Hey. Come over to the forum at toybreak.com, post it up, and you can also check out tofuthevegansombie.com, check out the figures, see all the cool stuff that they have, and the runner-up, there will be a runner-up to this contest, will receive a size large t-shirt, tofu t-shirt. So the deadline is August 31st. Don't forget to get your entries in. Awesome. Let's get into it. So All right. Let's more Comic Con. Let's, let's crap dive up. in. More crap up. So, this is Ben's Hall. Let's Ben's start. Ben's Hall. Ben's Hall Peroxide. <laughs> Very excited about this one from Yosuke Yamamoto Yosuke and Monkey. Yosuke Yamamoto. And Monkey yeah. King. Yeah. <laughs> I really, first I gotta say, I know everybody, you know, I talk about packaging. You know everybody? I know everybody <laughs> I knows. Know everybody. <laughs> I know everybody. <laughs> wow. I just gotta say First of all, I know everybody. <laughs> I actually really like this packaging. I think it's really nicely done. It's cool. Um, and I hate packaging, so... So you're going to throw it away? If this, if this were mine, I would, but seeing as this is yours, I guess I will not. He's still throwing it away. But I'm actually... Away. I've been excited to see what this is, so we're going to start this one off with a full-on review, because I, I want to see oh, what this... Oh, okay then. I want to see what this toy looks like. I Yeah, so this is the, the black one that they released for San Diego Comic-Con. And I think they might have a few left over, so they're probably going to sell them at monkeyking.com. Wow. If you want one, and that looks amazing. What was this called? The Rising Sun? Rising um, Sunrise? Sunrise. Yes. The sunrise. Is it on the box? I think it is. I think Screaming. 
Screaming for, for the, the sunrise. sunrise. I don't know what that little roll of bandages in there, but you can hold on to that. I won't bandages, take it off now. Bandages, bandages. Maybe it goes in his hands Whoa. or something. Maybe. Wow. Um, wow, that's really nice. Oh, I think it wraps around him. It's supposed to be like a little wrap around thing. Oh, like the smoke in this yeah. picture? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, that is something all right. Holy cow. George is excited. So the figure was, I think, $129. Mm. Which, but you know what? <laughs> If you look at the detail mm. and the paint, it's worth it. It's totally an art piece. One of those pieces, and it totally expresses Yosuke's art, and it's great. This is, this is really nice. It's totally it's, worth it. Yeah, I mean, the price the price is steep, but it's justified in what it is. This is really nice. You guys want to hold that? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty psyched about oh, that. It smells so good. I'd like, like to have, I'd like to have one of those. Oh, it smells so good. I like the pearly paint. Now, the regular edition is going to be a red one, which is pictured on the box. Okay. And that's probably going to be available through Monkey King and other retailers very yeah, and that's soon. what that gauze is wrapping around. Everything. Yeah. I love how the teeth are, like, pearly. I don't know. I just really like oh, that touch. The on the box. This is a nice figure. Yeah. So. A lot of layers in there, man. Look at that. There's so many layers in that head. Yeah. Very surprised that it didn't sell out, but you know, once again, it's a hundred. It's, it's a pricey piece. It's a pricey piece. So, uh, next up, we That's have amazing. We have El Bandito Muerte, Muerto, by Jesse Hernandez. I don't know if you guys want to open this up or yeah, say. Yeah, I mean, this is, let's, we got two like yeah. big pieces right wow, at the top of the awesome. show. Let's do it. Let's... So this was a piece that Jesse did just for like San like, Diego Comic Con things. with Kid Robot. There's no news of it coming out to the public. There's no news of another color. It's just kind of like, hey, we did this for the show. <laughs> it's out. If you want it, great. <laughs> if right. not, wait, sit down. Oh well, that's it. Uh, but I think they sold out. And um, what was the price on this? It's a really expensive pen holder. <laughs> it is. It's a very expensive. They can't uh, see what you're doing there, hundred, guys. So maybe hold game. it up if you're going to be funny. So Whoa, um, easy, guy. <laughs> it's a pen holder. Um, I believe that figure was, I think either. Whoa. I don't remember, but I want to say like either seventy-five or ninety dollars or something like that. Oops, sorry. Uh, that's pretty amazing. I mean, this is a really <gasps> nice piece as well. And you can serve chips and dip in the hat. <laughs> um, you were just so like pen holder chips and dip. I, I like things to have multiple uses. I like this one because it's it's different from Love Jesse's that. other pieces. Sculpting on the head is cool, but it's still close yeah, enough to his that. form of art. So I like it a lot. I like the grayscale. Yeah, it's nice. And oh, what did they say how many there were of this? Was it not too many? That's cool. Okay. Not too many, but... This hat's... Oh, the hat's heavy. It's heavy. Heavy duty. Heavy. Uh, nice. There's that word again. Head's articulated. <laughs> I mean, what? Is, is this really not the appropriate nice. size for my head? <laughs> Weird. There you go. <laughs> the dead bandito. Anyway, let's move on. All right. I like that piece a lot. So, Two in good the... Uh, start. The world... The world... What was that booth? The... Uh, the world booth figures the global figures global <laughs> figures there was a massive wow, line when they released uh grease bat dude i saw a picture of you getting your grease bat oh yeah it's on yeah. one of the blogs you were in front of the line almost. so i i That's was cool. it was up. you can't see it because it's clear and of course by by johnny ryan cannibal blank fuck. face oh family friendly <laughs> cannibal fuck. blank face so, <laughs> fuck face. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, and I remember Kozik was in line for this. Mm -hmm. He goes, this is the best figure from the entire show. Wow. And that, like, he bought this and one other thing. And that's it. During what the whole con. What does it come with? It comes with, like, a worm hand. Here, George. <laughs> He's a little, a little that slug guy. that goes onto his arm. Which is awesome. I love that guy. But he was, what, 85 bucks? Yes. Ooh, steep. So yeah, pretty steep on the price. This um, is gorgeous clear vinyl. It is. Yeah. It's fantastic. It comes with the this thing that goes. You pop the head off, and it's like it comes with the guts that you stuff inside, which is a paper. Oh, it's a little so, plastic, I see. a little printed yeah. plastic. Yeah. Sheet. And for anybody that didn't make the con, they actually sold these on the website um, the, a day or two after the con was over wow. on the website. They had. This they got to be sold out by now, though. 
Uh, Toinami mm. was releasing the ti uh, Tinies. Tinies, Futurama Tinies. Oh. This is the angry bender. There's going to be like a fun bender. Uh -huh. Can doing. we open him? Yeah. We don't ahead. have to. You know. No, I'll sure. let you open him later. Okay. Uh, there were so free, free blow-up guitars from Furnet. Awesome. Um, Super so Seven. Know. Book of Pure Evil. Oh, I know no, why I know that name. What? That's the show Jason Muse is on, isn't it? Sure. Is it Canadian? Maybe that's not the show. Actually, we're going to Super Seven. So, I might be wrong about that. I don't know if you guys remember last year they had those LA hands from mm -hmm. this this is it yeah. i do well I do this year they had the la hands but they're called like hamburger hands oh, it's like, like hamburger. a hamburger helper <laughs> Cute. these are actually really cool really fun um i asked them if there were going to be any available after the show and they're like supposedly it's just a comic-con exclusive Look at those little... i love it uh -huh. and Funny the other that. ones look so um anime based because they're all like happy and like ee. so um, from from the Entertainment Earth booth, Venture Brothers Lunchbox, Ooh. and inside the Lunchbox are Comic Con exclusive Rusty Venture and Jonas Venture figures. Hmm. So anybody that's been collecting the uh, Venture Brothers figures, you know th this is really cool. Lunch, but it's good packaging. Oh, it's great. Love it. <laughs> Aileen, this one's for you. From uh -oh. Entertainment Earth. Uh oh. You can open that this one up. One's, oh, it's heavy. It's a Tardis bobblehead. Tardis head. Thank you, Ben. You're a Tardis oh, no head. Problem. Wait, let's just Three look up Tardis. this. I gotta know if this is the show. Are you looking it up? Yeah, it's gonna drive me insane if I don't know. So Super Seven had a lot of fun. Jason oh, you got that. Muse. Awesome. That's right. I listen to Smodcast. Uh oh. Whoa. So. so I didn't see that. <gasps> I almost bought him. He was so cute. Okay, so here's the thing. They had a whole bunch of fun stuff. Ben. Okay, but my favorite were the smallest things there, which is this foster guy. It's just like a cookie. He sold and out, then, by the way. He, he did? Oh, oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, like, they just brought this out to stand right next to I him. I didn't even see that guy. The um, I forgot the character name. Um, Milton. Milton. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I know my Miltons. And it matches. <laughs> yeah, totally. So it's so cool. Isn't he great? That colorway is freaking awesome. On if oh. I didn't already have like two or three of them, I would have bought that one. Oh, it's great. But I'm like, I can't, I, I can't, just can't I have, have that one. one if you want. Hell yeah. Okay. Cheers. Hey. No. Oh. <laughs> um, also from Entertainment Earth, they were presenting the new Dexter figures. If you guys remember, they were releasing seven inch figures before, but now they have the three and three quarter inch. And so, of course, That's just awesome. like they released the seven inch uh, version of. What is that? The Dark no, Dark Passenger or whatever? The Dark Wheels. Defender. The Dark Defender. They Ooh. released a three and three quarter. Oh, okay. Don't freak out if you didn't get it. They're going to release a regular Dexter figure <laughs> in that size soon. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out when you're watching this. Okay. I do like the three oh. and three. Can we, hold on. Does it make a sound? Push a little bit. I will. I will. I do like the three and three quarter Dexter figure. I think it's a nice size. I think it's better than the seven inch one. Really? Yeah. Huh. Oh, is this the new uh, Darth Sidious figure? <laughs> So, just, whoa! Look at that face on him. Yeah, the, it's terrible. The sculpting <laughs> is terrible. Like this Bang Pow like has a... some of the worst sculpting I've <laughs> ever is. seen. It kind of looks like a transvestite. Oh. Hey, Biff Bang Pow, maybe hire some sculptors that you can help, like you know, project manage and look. Get it to look like it's the character. It's amazing. Says, George, shh, shh, George. Don't, shh, George. don't talk about how terrible our sculpting is. <laughs> oh. Shh. So this is how you make a TARDIS if you only have the license for the bobbleheads. <laughs> you make a There's a button in front. All right, there's a button. Okay, Let's press the here button. Here we go. What it doesn't even look like the TARDIS. Is that like an old <laughs> TARDIS or something else? Is that supposed to be like the 50s TARDIS? Well, it's definitely got the parking brake on. I oh, I thought that, that was a building. <laughs> what? It's... Police oh, you funny. Um, it's kind of a weird color blue. Is it the 50s part? And it's like the top? a heavy, the top of what? Like, it, it doesn't it like kind of go up in a little layer to the top? Like, is this 50s TARDIS? What is this? No, it's the same is it TARDIS. 30s or 50s TARDIS? What year is this TARDIS from? This is terrible. Is this Biff Bang Pow? It yes. is. They even got the sculpting wrong on the TARDIS. And it's a box. <laughs> hey, Biff Bang Pow, 
Come on! <laughs> oh! Thank you Jordan. for the thought, though, Ben. No problem. It's the least I could do. Anyway, my um, so at um, at Maddie, uh, Mattel, they had um, the Back to the oh. Future. A bunch of bullshit. So oh. here, sorry. So inside, everybody was wondering what's inside the box. Of course, everybody saw the preview. In the box. What's in the box? Why isn't it the Iranian? And Iranians then you man? open up the box and look. It's a ninety-eight cent DeLorean. No, it's thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. Oh no. They're I'm pretty sure I bought this for 98 cents. They bought the box nope. for $34 and the car for 98 cents. <laughs> so they just put their stupid Hot Wheels that they've already released yeah. for a dollar, then they put it in a $35 box, and you bought it. Hey, how's those paper flames? Is that expensive? <laughs> yes. Because that's probably about $30. But I'm a Back to the Future fan, and I have to <laughs> you guys get see it. That? Yeah, I, but you already have it. I know, but it's the box. It's paper flames. Uh, it's the box. And it's the same exact. Uh, but you want to hear the, the worst part, George? Car, right? yeah. George, tires. it's sold out. Of course it did. It people are like, you were dumb. I'm a collector of Back to the Future of stuff. Of bad things. I'm sorry. Bad to the Future. All right, you want you want something <laughs> bigger <laughs> from, oh, from... Oh, come yeah. on. That's there you just... Go. Just did you yeah. find any oh. small... <laughs> come, here, you did want, you find oh. any small toys on your travels? <laughs> oh. so, so, there's 400 things in here? If so, is, just one. When I was like a Cub Scout, we, we win, had right? a, a yes, kit like this big that we sold like wrapping paper out of and stuff. like. This thing is huge. <laughs> oh. Open. You have the scissors. I can't okay, so reach them past so, this box. Okay, so while you're opening that up, I am. Um, I'm gonna. I have this Don't one book me. that I got from the High Fructose Ooh. booth, and it's called 3D Art Book. Now, if you guys saw the countdown to Comic Con, you noticed that <laughs> me and Jim were wearing 3D glasses. I don't know what you're talking about. So anyway, <laughs> so the reason is because Jim is in this book, and it's it's actually amazing, guys. It's a cool book. It was released and made by Tristan mm -hmm. Eaton. Am I the only one that hates that book? Why do you hate it? I think it's he stupid. hates three D. Really? Oh come on! Um, so when you wants bought the, world the book, to be flat. cool. I want to I want to have to put on glasses and look through them just to look at my book. Hey, <laughs> hey you know I what? I want to watch so a movie like that, hey, and I don't want to look at my art book like that. You know what? Oh. It, it's like an experience looking at the art book. It is. Oh, it's awesome. kind of fun. I like, want to want to pay more money for an experience <laughs> of putting on glasses and looking through that. How about you just give you me a freaking art book? You put on glasses every day. What are you well, talking about? The, the Hi, pieces. I want to have my art book be a gimmick. Awesome. We're, we're changing your name to Grumper's Gaspar. How about... <laughs> that's dumb. Well, Grumper's Gaspar? No, it's, it's a good like, name. It's like, you can look at the... It just makes it a little bit different than the other George art books. George can't even open... <laughs> Shit balls, man. It's a, it's a diorama. Oh, my God. Hell. It's a diorama. Wait. Here, you hold that side. Okay. Oh, wait, it's the wrong be. direction. Here we go. It's the wrong direction, guys, I think. No. Look at this. Oh, no, it's the right. Good lord. There, does it take up the whole screen? I don't think it's on the E, yeah. There's more houses to set up. What? Really? More houses? Oh. I can't see. Remember Where's everybody? What? Hello? Huh? Holy crap. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh, oh my wow. gosh. Wow. That thing is awesome. Oh, it is squishy. I was it's told so it was awesome. squishy. It's like made out of Nerf. Yeah. What? It says there's a plastic... Ah, oh, that's so freaking cool. Belly underneath. So it's totally nerfy. Here's the thing. If it wasn't for <laughs> my friend at D Corner, um, I wouldn't have gotten this. I was like standing in line almost every single day for this thing. They would be they would sell like six to a Shut person. Up. But the problem is by the tenth or fifteenth person in line, they would declare it sold out. What? That's crazy. It so was ridiculous. So how many do you think they made of this then? <sighs> Can't Probably be too a many. Okay, but here's the good news for people that didn't make it to Comic Con and didn't get one. We are getting another version of this. Hopefully, yeah. I think so. But well, we saw it in the case. Oh, it's the is it the angry one? It's yes. There's this one which is a smiley stay puffed, and then there's like an angry ha ah, stay puff, which I I don't know if this is hundred percent true. I guess we can only assume it's coming to Maddie. It's gotta be. It's gotta be true because the whole pre order thing, you told me that something went wrong. Oh my gosh. I don't know one single person in who who buys from Maddie that actually got the Back to the Future car or the Stay Puffed. Definitely the Stay Puffed because there was some sort of a glitch mm. that it wouldn't let you add it to the cart because it Whoa. said it wouldn't ship to your country of origin. So you had to take it out of your cart before you could order any of your other stuff. So you can't uh -huh. even pre you couldn't so even apparently pre order. They turned it off like five minutes in and then it just said sold out. So I don't eat Anyway. Drama. Right. So Drama. it comes with their little firehouse front. Three D mm -hmm. book. Awesome. If you like 3D, you're going to love it. It came with the print. 
so I liked it. 3D, yeah, it's upside um, down. Name is 3D so retro. I did step out of my <laughs> regular loop of just buying toys. What? And I noticed there was Ooh, that one looks somebody like signing, <laughs> and so I had to do it. Did you really get that? I got it. Really? I you got it signed. No. Can you can you read the inscription? <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, that's cool. <laughs> What does it say? Tell to, them. To Ben Baca. Mm. From Chewbacca. <laughs> Peter Mayhew. There you go. Wow. Ta-da. And then I also got one, one thing for you, Aileen. What? That's right. For me? At at the oh, Kaboom Comics bo booth, because supposedly they sell comic books. The who? The what? The what? Kaboom Comics. Kaboom. The comics? Yeah, comics. Comics. Like, like, like that's down at that and... side where nobody is, right? Right, exactly. Okay. So, oh, Kaboom does all the Disney comics, okay. and they were releasing a special <gasps> Dark King Duck, and the artist was there, and you just tell him your favorite character, and he draws it for you, so... That's awesome! Little, that's for you. Let's get dangerous! Hold that up. Let's get dangerous! Bas so, basically what they did is they <laughs> printed all the comic books, they had a few different issues... They printed them with blank covers. Right. That's brilliant. So that the artist that on hand idea. draws. Everybody gets their own personal cover. And they had different. They had they had Darkwing Duck. They had a couple other characters as well. That's now, so, thank you so much, Ben. Oh, it's no problem. So I got I got to show this. The the Super Seven guys had this bag, and I thought this was this was brilliant. What it says on the bag. It says, "We grew up with giant monsters, comic books, punk, science fiction, skateboarding." Robots and Rebellion. No one made what we wanted, so we made it ourselves. That is pretty good. That's great. I think they have a sign like that in their store, yes, no? I don't know. Maybe? I, think I don't know. Perhaps. It's so wait, did you walk up and say Darkwing Duck? I and, did. And he was like... He's like, come back in 15, 20 minutes, I will any, have yours ready. Did you hear anybody walk up and say Drake Mallard? No. But That's, I saw, I saw a couple amazing. of others on the table, and there were like... Who's the guy with the plug on his head? The bad guy. Oh, um, it's the guy in the in the comic actually. Uh, but I know who you're talking about. But it was cool watching him draw. He's like, you can either stick around, or I'm come back in 15, 20 minutes. And I'm like, I just I just want to watch you draw a couple of these things. That's and cool. he was specific to Darkwing Duck. There were other ones doing Ducktales. Yeah. There was Rescue Rangers. He must have drawn so many Darkwing Ducks. I know well, he do, he was. That's yeah. amazing. That is what he draws. So. Ooh, ah, it's so good. Um, I'm Let's excited about get this. Dangerous. Coming back to television soon, and I believe you attended a panel for this. I did not. Oh well, there I was no, a panel. We walked to the panel, but the line wrapped around uh, that top of the panel. You can actually center. go to MTV.com and MTV Geek is if you look up MTV Geek uh -huh. on their um, blog, they are playing that. You can watch the panel on there. Oh, nice. nice. So it's up. Well, at Funko, they have the... I'm sure there's going to be other versions of these <laughs> talking Beavis and Butthead bobbleheads. That's fun. <laughs> and they, the, the exclusive on these, it's basically 480 pieces of each, and their shirts say Comic-Con sucks. <laughs> nice. So. Um, Johnny Knoxville actually did the interview with uh, Mike Judge on the panel. Like, that was Can the panel. we open wow. these to see what they say? Sure. Because I'm really interested. Yeah, definitely. So now, did I hear you correctly? This is coming back. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even know that. They're gonna be doing know? it instead. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be just videos. Like there's gonna be some videos, but they're gonna do like, they're gonna talk over Jersey Shore. Do we need this? They're gonna oh, that's gonna yes. be awesome. Oh, that's some MMA. Yes, yes, so. yes, we need this. Yeah. We need today's this generation needs Beavis and Butthead back. Okay, I'm gonna pull the tab. Oh yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I think, dude, imagine him talking over like 18 and pregnant or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Six, 16, 18's too old. Whatever, it's Sorry. gonna be funny. It'll be funny. Oh, okay. It'll right. be funny. It's just weird when they bring stuff back. I mean, it hasn't been gone that long. I and, think, it, and it went away for a reason. Like, this is awesome. I don't know. Funko, thank you. Thank you very much. So, at the Super 7 booth, Circus Posters came by. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And they had um, a couple of figures which I loved. Right. One of them, Wait Chris Reiniak. Bubblegut. There was Bubblegut oh. by P Chris Reiniak. I want that figure so bad. Here, around. Ben got you one. Oh, awesome, Ben. There you go. How many and of those were this, there? There were, it says right here, 66. Okay. And there was also 66 of these. Okay, I saw this. Travis Louie figure. Travis Louie. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Freaking awesome. It's 
crazy. Look at that. What? Beautiful figure. And it comes with shoes. Holy moly. But if this were vinyl, I would have been all over it. What if it's not vinyl? So oh, I don't this. want a hand cast resin. Anyway, but these are these are fantastic. Oh my god! I saw this Travis Louis piece. Uh, Jeremy Brotman had it. Just so and great. It's so nuts. and that's you know me, George. I don't like that's fantastic. like things that are not vinyl. But these two pieces, they're Chris crazy. and Travis, awesome they're, jobs. Yeah, I mean they're amazing. This this is they're, beautiful. Just these beautiful are toys. Pieces. I mean they're just no, like, they're just art, these are they're art, art pieces. pieces. Yeah. yeah. And uh, just, just the, the lines eye. on this. Look at the eye. It looks amazing. It's a yeah. great yeah. eye. Can and I just hold that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Trade. And this even this um, this even feels like vinyl. Like this this is like. But the price again, really you know, a little bit high. Um, I believe the um, Travis piece was like one ninety. And um, mm -hmm. Chris's piece was something like, I think one thirty or one forty. I, yeah. I don't remember. They're amazing for sure. though. These are great. And they came in they came in bags. You know, uh, very smart. Once again, you can see that eye on there. Brant and Kathy, these they're in charge great. of Circus Posterus. They do a great job putting these things together with these artists. So just keep up the good work, guys. And keep an eye on them and where they're going to be. Yes. And what stuff is coming out from them. So that eye's got like a crazy like reflective. It's, going it's so like, that's what did it. I'm like I saw. Gorgeous. I'm like it's great. Fantastic. So nice. They did a really nice job. And it's just so, so clean and shiny. And now, I have a question about these. Now, are these... Um, that one came in this bag. So, like, are these done in a factory? No, these are all made in the U.S. Yeah. I mean, who paints them and, like, who casts them? And, I mean, um, do, I don't do you know, know for sure. Um, I know that they are made here in the U.S. in, in small numbers. Yeah. Though. Um, I don't know if Chris painted his own. Yeah, because I... I don't know. That, yeah, I think sometimes they do, do their one. own. I think really? they do. Yeah, I think they do. That's a lot of work. I don't know about every single piece, but I know sometimes they do their own. Pieces, it's good. It's great. It's great quality. Go it's to the show just, and ask them. And Chris hey, was around to sign them, and it's great. Chris had like five signings and toy releases, and he was just exploding. Yeah, coloring book all and all that Comic -Con. stuff. Yeah. It was just Chris Brainiac all over Comic Con and in your face. So this is kind of for the Ashley Wood fans and the Batman fans, kind of. Kind of. Batman fans. Yeah. This. What? Kind of, yeah, they kind of have this thing like going Batman. on, where at the IW IDW booth because. 3A didn't have a booth. Ashley Wood didn't have a booth, but the oh. speculation they're gonna have a booth on their own next year. But at the they IDW booth, they would release yeah. these figures, oh, this. and this one's called By Day. Yay. But it's one of the, the Ramblers. Darkwing Duck. It has a bat bat thing in the front, which a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Comic Con Batman, whatever. So look at that gun, dude. I know that's insane. That's kind of awesome that the wow. gun is so much yeah. bigger yeah. than the robot. So that one's pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Look at all the tiny bags. But those cost, I think, like $70 or $75, and they sold That's out. They sold out. Like I mean, all the Ashley Wood stuff, you know, who won multiple DTA awards, I think. I mean, as soon as they would release it, it would sell. It now, would did sell it, out. Didn't Kevin hook you up with that as well? Yes, D Corner. Kevin totally helped me out with that. D Corner. Because he's awesome when it comes to Ashley Wood stuff. He gets it. Kid Robot. Zombie Robber. Zombie Robber. The colorway that they had for Comic Con was actually really cool. I thought, no way. I'm not going to be attracted to this one because, you know, the regular one came out. And, I mean, what could be so special about this? And then they release it, and it looks freaking amazing. What? Yeah. <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh, that's pretty bad. And the that's green glows in the dark wow. on top of it. So it's like black on black with green. Prime. You know, 75 bucks. <laughs> I like the big jewel. It looks like the Lego jewel piece. Yeah. It's freaking that's fun. amazing. I like the head. That's great. What just happened? <laughs> oh, I just got what you said. <laughs> you can just put that on. What else you got, Ben? Alrighty. Show us um, more of your Ben all. Let's see. Oh, let me see, George. Come on. That thing's Wait, rad. Wait, does that really? mean he's Ben all? This is this, this is the here. best figure Where that was released at Comic Con right there. I know George agrees. <laughs> this was a figure that was released at Comic Con. <laughs> Sold out. Um. So it's the Super Suck Lords Gay Empire. Asking and telling edition. Okay, so $69 at the con, sold out preview sold out. night. 
Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. How many pieces? Do we know? I think 20. 60. Or was it? No, it's a suit, like 25 or something. It was really low. Or 40. Um, I got this really for my girlfriend, so. Sure but, you did. It's oh, Femme Dolph, Fatale's She Alice. lives in Canada. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, it's the Femme Fatale's Alice, uh, released by, I think it was Entertainment Earth. So it was limited to 100 pieces, so I'm like, yeah, I'll get it. That was Diamond Select. Oh, yeah, you're right. Diamond Select, you're right. Sorry. Sometimes I watch Toy News. So the other thing that was being yeah. released at High Fructose were these wooden prints. Oh, these are cool. And I got two out of the four. The two that I got was Alex Party, which is right there. I want to see. I can't even see it. Turn it around. But they can't see it, then. It's okay. Whoa. Wow. That's and the cool. other one that I got was Buff Monster. Wow. I like that idea. So, cool. and they're on wood, wow. which was really cool. They were only $50 each. That's it? Which wow. is great for wooden prints. Um, I missed out on the Junko Mizuno. It sold uh -huh. out very quickly. Oh, it that had, thing like, was rad. It was These so are cool. gorgeous. And then I, I also missed out on Joe Ledbetter's. Oh, I saw the lead better, yeah. Yeah, so I wanted That's all great. four, but unfortunately I snoozed and I you lose. You lose. I did. Now, speaking of prints. Oh, yeah, you want to check that out? Oh, you got 14. Now, I noticed, Ben, that yeah. you have 14 of 50, 14 of 50, and that Femme Fatale was 14 of 100. Was that done on purpose? Ooh. No. Hmm. Good question. Oh, that's a good... Any other 14s around here? Hold on. Put here, this ben. somewhere safe for all right. Yeah, let's put that wanna, under your... I can't risk getting... We'll put that here. Getting your hate all over it. And I like those. It's nice. <laughs> How much were the wooden things. prints? $50. $50. That's not bad for a print. No. So... Not a No. Are you guys let's holding see. hands? What's happening? So... Who? Coming down <laughs> to... Oh, no. Hey. Coming down to the last of it, really... These I actually mm. got for you guys. What? Cause wait, there's two different ones. Well, you get to pick a color. Okay. So you get one, we get one. Exactly. Okay. Muppets. These were at the Acme booth, and the and basically, yeah, these were. Um, I forgot the air, the the artist who did these. Was it? Was it? Oh, I don't know. Dave. Oh, Dave Perillo. Can we let's hold them this so, way so oh, I can wow. see them and let yeah. the audience look at the blank white yeah. for a second? Because I yes. want to look at the two. Kind of gorgeous. But it's the Muppet Show. Can you read me what number that is over there? This 14. is 85 out of 100. This is 10. Oh. But here's the thing. Which color do you out of like? 200. Though. This one was only 100. Ten two? And here and, and that's 200. They would limit to like uh, 20 of these a day. Right. Wow. And. Like, I got in the first day, and I'm like, mm -hmm. you got to hook me up. I kind of like the color on the green. I like this one. Oh, really? But I this like this is one. Like... This one matches all of our stoli art. It does. That it's orange. Stuff. Yeah. Teal is red. So, oh, this is rough. But you like, I'm... do you like that one better? You can decide later. Here's the thing. They told me that the way that these were selling, they called this one the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Mm-hmm. But that one was going so fast that they said both of them are going to sell out at the show. Wow. So if you can get your hands on these from Acme, Acme. still, then do it. Because they're totally worth it. Which they're amazing. Can I hold that one in my hand for a Yeah, sure? definitely. Because <laughs> that'll help him decide here. Please. Now, is this going to go up in here somewhere? Up in this? Up in here? Up in this up mug? Up in there. The oh, other thing funny. I got from Acme... Oh, cool. Were these... Um, no way. Yes, yes way. Were these like portraits, Star Wars portraits, and I thought these were hilarious. What, what I actually liked the most was this one. It Boba reminds you of George. Right there. Nice. Reminds me of George. It's Boba Fett. And then we have um, C-3PO. Oh, man. Okay. Jorba the Hutt. Uh, Chewbacca and Jabba the Hutt. Yes. Nice. So now, do each of these resemble one of us? So George is Boba Fett. Who is you're C Chewbacca? Am I C-3PO? No, you're Chewbacca. Ben, or George? There we go. Was that now, you? now you're Jabba. 
Oh. Hey, no way. Dude. <laughs> actually, or would you rather be C three? No, actually, you've got the you've got the Java mustache going on, George. Right, you do. Sure. I'll do that one. And I'm fit. You be fat. You yes. Be fat. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You're the fat man. Great. I'm the comic relief. I'll be George by the hat. I'm the badass. And Ben's the. Uh, this is obviously this is first the mate. kingpin. This is obviously just kingpin. This is not Jabba the Hutt. Oh well, this is Metal Man. <laughs> I'm Headhunter, and I'm First Mate. All right. Are these licensed? These are legit. Huh? These are legit. Legit. Yeah, legit from Lucasfilm and everything. Cool. Nice. Limited edition. Very good. Very cool. Cool, cool. And now, uh, was it just those four, or were there other ones? No, those were those four. I got the whole he set. He bought out the whole booth. Wow. And um, basically, guys, that's that's it. That's no. a lot. That's a lot we of were stuff. We so much fun. I gotta hear. Beavis. I gotta hear what Beavis, Beavis. says. <laughs> ben, I gotta say, you got a nice haul of like art toys uh -huh. this time. A nice, well-rounded yeah. collection. Um, don't don't forget, you also. I mean, you didn't need to purchase it because you made it, but you got the Brandy, right, Milne art toy. As well as the Nathan Hamill art toy. Yep. The new pepper color. Yep. Uh, which we didn't show off on the show. Um, and I think that was the three new that, that you obviously made but didn't have to pay for. And get. Right. And the BP. Uh, the BP. Yeah. The new color of the BP. The Jim of Food. But that yes. is sold out. Um, but the other ones are available on 3DRetro.com, I believe, right? Yes. The, the regular ones are still available. Right. Uh, Very the Nathan, small supply. The, the Nathan Hamill Bellicose Skull and Dark is sold out. Sold that was out. a Comic Con exclusive. Um, but the other one, the other ones were just a, a debut. Right. So if you're still interested in them, they are still available on 3D Retro. Yeah. Ready? Let's, hear Let's it. do it. <laughs> Does this mean everyone's going to start doing Beavis and Butthead again? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that might be. Uh, maybe we're not ready That's for that. That's what I mean. Fire, fire, fire. Like, fire. Maybe we're That's not. That's what I mean. Yeah. Why does he say TP Okay, my here's an example of why Beavis and Bedhead should probably not come back. Why? Ren and Stimpy. Why? What? Ren they, and Stimpy was here. They came they back. They tried to bring it back, and it failed. Yeah, Remember but it came back on the spike? style, though? I can't hear you with this thing going. Well, is this... I don't hear any TP for my bunghole. He They're going to be... Ch they're, I'm sure this is going to change it up a little bit. It's not going to be completely the same. But no, they changed the style and everything of Ren's thing. No. They did. They did. No, and it was they, still done by Spunko. Did they change Spunko. the voice? I don't... Did they change the no, voice? No, they, they tried to do it pretty close. Did they? Yeah. I think this will be a little bit easier to get closer to it. Oh, it's going to be hilarious, dude. Know, I'm man. just saying. Yeah, I don't know good. if I'm ready for like it, that's like another awesome powers and everybody starts doing that again. We don't need those voices anymore. Like, yeah, baby. <laughs> it's for a whole new generation. <laughs> just chuck it in there. It's a two dollar bobble. I can't. Crush it in. Push it. George will do it later. It's all right. Well, okay. The other thing about Beavis and Butthead, like there were kids like this when we were Shh. when we were. Shh. It's like a bomb. You have to like. Close oh, you were shitting that. <laughs> oh no, not you! <laughs> I'm like, what happened? <laughs> there were kids like this in school, and like we knew kids like that, like like Beavis and Butthead. Are but there no more kids like there, that? Are there kids like that anymore? Yes. It'd be creepy be. if we were hanging out at school like to find that? out. They're there's all gotta like, be. but they're like all emo now and stuff. They're no, not, there's like, there's still like, idiots like that. We wasn't, had emo kids in wasn't school. Wasn't there that like a Daria on emo. that show? She was emo, wasn't she? You yeah. Mean, diarrhea. Cha cha cha. Yeah, maybe we don't need this to come back. <laughs> we don't need this back. Whoa. So if anybody watched this far, wow. and anybody is into Glyos figures, and oh. you want one, uh, this was a custom by Kaiju X3. Uh, this is Kill, and he used the Mini Gwyn head and made a little custom Glyos <laughs> with the Mini Gwyn head. Awesome. It's funny. So whoever wants this, all you gotta do is pay shipping, go on the forum under this post, tell me you want this, I'll give you the shipping cost. You pay the shipping. I ship this to you for free. What? For free. That's it? Well, for the shipping cost. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, just come on and tell me you want it. That's crazy. And uh, another thing we're going to give away. If any of you have Rock Band. I don't. Um, there's a custom kick drum head 
This is for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Nintendo Wii. Uh, this works with your thing. I don't know where it goes. It goes somewhere on there. I don't um, have this. It's clearly a custom kick drum. I think it just kind of covers. Does it just cover the front? Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's this, metal that it's is. this cool metal it's skull. so fucking metal. Um, so if you want this, again, just pay shipping. <laughs> Tell me you want it in the forum, and I'll send it hey, to look, you. It's Beavis. This is by <laughs> MadCats.com. And I MadCats say, makes great controllers. And I want to say thank you to Rusted Halo. Uh, who made this awesome uh, Gwyndum Warrior, one of a kind hand cast resin figure? This is a a, a Gwyn with a Gundam head, awesome, all resin made. Uh, and you can check out more of his work at the RustedNailGallery.com. I'm not giving this away because I'm keeping it, but Cause there rad. you go. If Thank you want you. your very own, you can go to the RustedNailGallery.com and get one of these. He's having a resin show coming up, so get involved and uh, check it out. Get one of these little custom resin Gwyns because they're awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Well then. Well, I think we cleaned up around Comic Con pretty well. What we think this yeah. year? I'm ready to go back and do it again. I want more. I also love that we have like totally different things. Yeah. Like we got totally different stuff than you. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's so cool. We bought the same things as you. It's cool. Yeah, we bought a lot of the same things. <laughs> <laughs> These two guys, they you know are sold the same it's person. It's because we barely left our booth and we, and we pretty we much just got went, things yeah. that were around our booth. What so. can I reach? Gargamel, I can reach your booth. I'll <laughs> yeah. buy stuff from you. Let's see. Other things that were cool at Comic Con, the Wired Cafe. Yes. The uh, Trickster the across the street. Ah, Trickster was uh, fun. Trickster was a lot of fun. Jaywalk the restaurant. Jaywalk is delicious. <laughs> Phil's. Um, Barbecue. <gasps> Phil's barbecue. Phil's barbecue. Oh my in God! Diego. Phil's barbecue. The onion rings okay, that's not and at Comic Con, guys. You have to drive to it. Um, everybody that <laughs> came by the booth and took a picture with the hammer, awesome. Thank you very much. And you know what? If you took a picture, uh, send it in. Yes, please. Email it to us or or tag it on Facebook so we could see the picture with the hammer or picture with the booth. Um, and at the end of the next episode, we'll do a. A slideshow of yeah. all the pictures of the montage. Hammers. A montage. <gasps> so send in your photo montage. if you took a picture of the hammer. We need a montage. I guess montage. I'm not saying anything. That's cool. What? You guys can sing over it. <laughs> what are you saying? That's cool. Right what are you up. saying? I don't know. What are you going to say? What are you saying? Say it. Send in your pictures. I don't Please. Care. And Comic thank Con. you to everybody who came by <laughs> and saw by the booth to say hi. And see us and let us know that they support the show and watch the show. And we're coming by to check out the amazing OMFG figures that we had on display. That was rad. That was awesome. We had a big surprise from George over here. And it wasn't a toy. Made a big, made a giant thing if you didn't see it. (laughs) Go to the Facebook page and check out the pictures or go to the forum. Very pink and large. In your face. Can you make them all like that size? No. No. That would not. That would not work. And it All was right. dripping too. <laughs> oh, so that is it for this episode. But don't fear, never fear, because there's still more Comic Con crap up to come next what? week. There is. Oh my. <laughs> but in the meantime, that's it. Don't forget to save money with coupon code TOYBREAK10 over at tilted.com and button-lab.com. You can also save with the coupon code toybreak, all one word, at funkrush.com and octobertoys.com. You can come over to October to, or to toybreak.com and check out all the goodies we have over there. You can watch the episodes. You can go to the goodies page. You can uh, download paper toys of us. There's three different kinds. That's amazing. You can play with the sounds. You can download ringtones if you're so inclined. You can call leave us a voicemail 818 am i good you can email us at info at toybreak.com you can keep up with us on facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak you can watch our briefs and our whole episodes on youtube at youtube.com slash toybreak you can follow us on twitter i'm at aileen gaspar at george gaspar at mr scott tollison at 3d retro yay and we will be back next week with more san diego 2011 comic-con goodness